Earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to talk about how to solve basic equations in algebra. Let's have a quick recap first on what equations is all about. Equation is written as two expressions connected by an equal sign. The expressions on the two sides of the equal sign are called left-hand side and right-hand side of the equation. Also, equations should be balanced, meaning whatever the value of the left-hand side is always equal to the value of the right-hand side. Equations also have different parts. Let's say we have an equation x plus 3 equals to 5. The x there is called the variable, and we need to find the value of that variable. 3 and 5 there are the constants, and the addition symbol is the operator. So how to solve this equation? In order to solve an equation, we need to rearrange the equation. We need to put the unknown variable all by itself on one side of the equal sign and all the known number on the other side. So in order to put the unknown value on the other side and the known value to the other side, we need to make the same changes on both sides. For example, we added a number on the left side then we also must add the same number to the other side. In our example, x plus 3 equals 5, we need to rearrange the equation so that the unknown variable is all by itself on one side. To make the variable x all by itself on one side, we need to get rid of the number 3. As we can see, 3 is being added to x. Therefore, we can get rid of that 3 by subtracting 3 on that side. And to keep our equation balance, we also must subtract 3 on the other side. So the x is now all by itself on the other side of the equal sign because positive 3 minus 3 cancels out. Therefore, our equation will become x equals 5 minus 3. And 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Therefore, the value of x is 2. And to check whether we got the correct value of x, we just need to substitute the value to the unknown variable x. So instead of writing x plus 3 equals to 5, we will write 2 plus 3 equals to 5. And we all know that 2 plus 3 is 5, therefore 5 is equal to 5. So our equation is balanced. And we all know that we got the right value of the variable x. Let's have more examples to further understand it. What if we have an equation x plus 15 equals 20. Find the value of x. So as what I mentioned earlier, we need to put the variable all by itself on one side of the equal sign and then all the known variable to the other side. To get rid of the number 15, we need to subtract 15 on both sides. So the equation will become x plus 15 minus 15 equals to 50 minus 15. And we all know that positive 15 minus 15 cancels out. Therefore, our equation will become x equals 20 minus 15. 20 minus 15 is equal to 5. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 5. To check whether we got the correct value of x, we just need to substitute the value of the variable x. So, the equation will become 5 plus 15 equals 20. And we all know that 5 plus 15 is equal to 20. Therefore, 20 equals 20. So our equation is balanced and we got the correct value of the variable x. Okay, for another example, if we have an equation x minus 9 equals 2, find the value of x. Again, we need to put the unknown variable all by itself on one side. So in order to get rid of the number 9, all we have to do is add 9 on both sides. Therefore, the equation will become x minus 9 plus 9 equals to 2 plus 9. Positive 9 minus 9 cancels out because 9 minus 9 is 0. Therefore, the equation will become x equals 2 plus 9. Therefore, the value of x is 11. And then to check whether we got the correct answer, we just need to substitute the value to the equation. So the equation will become 11 minus 9 equals 2. 
so since the equation is balanced therefore we got the correct value of x now let's have some word problems there are total of 80 first year students enrolled in electrical engineering course if there are 50 boys out of 80 enrollees how many of them are girls i will give you 30 seconds to solve this problem or you can pause the video if you need more time so time starts now It is stated in the problem that there are 80 first year students enrolled in electrical engineering course and 50 of them are boys and the problem is asking for the number of girls enrolled in electrical engineering. Therefore we can let variable x equals to number of girls enrolled in electrical course and since the total number of enrollees is 80 therefore we can conclude that the total number of boys plus total number of girls is equal to 80 students. So this will be our equation. To get the value of x, we need to subtract 50 on both sides. And the equation will become x plus 50 minus 50 equals to 80 minus 50. Therefore, the value of x is 30. So there are 30 girls enrolled in electrical engineering course. To check whether we get the right value of x, let's substitute 30 to the unknown variable x. 30 plus 50 is equal to 80. Therefore, the equation is balanced and that means we got the correct value of x. So that's how we solve simple equations in algebra. What can you say about it? It is very easy, right? Again, I will repeat, in order to make an equation balance, we need to make the exact changes on both sides. So that's it guys, I hope you learned a lot in solving basic equations in algebra. Also, you can watch other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is EarthPen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.